Hello everyone. I've made this video as I can guarantee that I would be banned from the unofficial Escape from Tarkov subreddit by overzealous mods because they don't like what I am about to say, as hundreds of others are saying the exact same thing, and none of the reasons are given in this video, just my own, of course. They are reasons that have been brought up by quite literally hundreds of regular players of Battlestate's game Escape from Tarkov. Now, I will first apologise that I'm sick and my voice isn't doing too great, and for the fact that my video editing skills are at best subpar. Now, the first issue I'm going to talk about here is desync. Now, desync is quite clearly a massive issue with the player base, as you can see from the background video here. Now, the videos I'm going to show you here are all recorded in a row. This is five raids I did one after another, and you can clearly see how much of an issue desync actually is. Given the number of players that have bought the game in the past and how many are buying it daily, you would think that Battlestate games would be able to buy decent servers, as most people I've found that uh, buy the UOD edition of the game, which costs excess of £140 and about $200, and the standard edition still costs about £50. If my points here aren't enough, then the gameplay in the background should be. Battlestate games needs to buy more servers, and they should have enough money to do so. The second issue I'm going to talk about here is RAM usage system requirements and the memory leaks. Now another major issue Battlestate Games has failed to address over the course of months is that the memory leak and the RAM requirement issues pl plague the player base. In Alpha you could expect upwards of 60 frames per second with 8GB of RAM if you had a decent rig and ran the game on medium to high. Now, after the initial uh, open beta update slash patch, you're lucky enough to get 60 FPS on factory alone on a medium end rig, as when you try to load up any other map, you can get at most 2 to 5 FPS, and that's what you're, you come to expect. And in most cases, your PC can be expected to blue screen or at the very least for Tarkov to crash. Given that you could run the game fine before the beta, what changed to up the RAM usage so much? As all that has been added now is scav behaviour, weapons, a map, and some emotes, things like that. Granted that's not all, but the rest is not substantial. As you can see from the random screenshots, this is a fact, it's not anything other than that. Now the third issue I'm going to talk about here is hackers and script kiddies. Now, this may be related to desync, but there is quite a few hackers in the game that I've encountered, fly hackers and such, as well as many other people I've talked to. And this is another major issue facing the Arcos players, as you can expect. You can find a hacker in at least one out of every five to ten games. The screenshot I have blacked out the address to is of one of hundreds of websites where you can find hacks for Tarkov that have not been taken down by Battlestate games. This and the lack of reliable anti-cheat, if any anti-cheat at all, as I've seen no evidence of it other than ban waves, adds up to the game being unfair and unplayable in many instances. Now when you add the desync on to this in each match it makes it so much worse. Fourth issue I'm going to talk about is communication between Battlestate games and their player base. Now yet another issue that Battlestate Games repeatedly f is that Battlestate Games repeatedly fails to inform those who buy their game of updates, patches, game issues, changes, wipes, updates, game release dates, anything like that. They instead post all this in popular streamers' chats and often say, as a, this is opposed to say their dedicated launcher or dedicated website. As you can see from the screenshots, developers consistently only announce updates and patches slash upcoming news through streamers and YouTubers. This is just a bad, bad business model as a whole, as it relies on streamers, people who are not affiliated with the company in any way other than cleanup guy, getting the news out by reading their chat. Now the fifth, the fifth issue I'm going to talk about is how the game is quite clearly still an alpha despite the beta label that's been given. Now, Escape from Tarkov is quite clearly in the alpha stages here, as the fundamental game features consistently break, refuse to work, or flat aren't, aren't there. RAM issues, lack of base game features, content, and the number of dedicated servers show that EFT is quite clearly still in the alpha, despite the beta label it has been given. Now, I've asked multiple regular players and they say the same thing. The open beta uh, was a cash grab by BSG. Now, obviously this is an opinion, however it is an opinion held by many players that play EFT regularly, and that says something in of itself. If the game was truly in the beta stage of development, then the game would have most key features already in the game, and the server issues, hacker issues, and game breaking bugs like hand glitches, grenade implosions, getting stuck indoors just simply wouldn't be there. Now, number six I'm going to talk about here is the developer's vision of the game is not as important as making a stable game out of that vision. 
Now, EFT's developers clearly have a very specific vision and realistic vision of the game they are trying to create, and therefore have a set way that the way they do things and actually develop. This, however, creates massive issues in the way that the end result they are creating will likely be as unstable as the build we are currently experiencing. I hope not, but since the last alpha build of the game, it's becoming more and more unstable as patches are released. This is quite clear with the RAM and memory leak issues and everything, all the bugs that are just popping up. And granted, it's in beta, but there should not be that many. Number seven I'm going to talk about here is the error and crash reports not sending and when they do, the reply is not happening. Now a major issue that is that the error slash bug reporting system is clearly not working as intended, if at all. As you can clearly see here from the screenshots, the developers clearly don't or can't handle all the bug reports as they don't reply to any that I can see and instead send it an automated message that is the same for everyone bar the error report number. This is a screenshot of a single player's email in which shows the same automated message you saw a minute ago. This is the case for everyone I have asked. And the number 8 on the list here is stupid quests, dumb game functions and features, and implementations of needed functions for things such as blind fire, collapsing stocks, and jack o' lanterns. The quest system is clunky, that's widely regarded as truth. The RNG, uh, syst it's RNG based, the quest system, and it's quite frankly monotonous because you have to do it every single patch. Now, the developers either need to rework it completely or scrap it. Sure, it gives something for you to do, but if you aren't lucky enough to find those four gas analyzers or kill 25 bears within an hour, then you're screwed. This, along with lack of base game features that would make the game much more playable, such as a compass, teammate armbands, mask slash face slots, attachment guide lists, voice over IP, etc. makes the game clunky and less available to newer players. Adding in foldable stocks, plane fire and an updated med system should be much lower in the priority list than say fixing the servers or making armbands, making new maps, guns or models or systems. If you'd like a blatant example of this, then take a look at the jack-o'-lantern element, which is unnecessary and unwanted by most players. Sure, it looks nice, but would much rather a new Armour Level 3 helmet that would stay after the 5th of November. Now, number 9 on the list here is Battlestate Games' shady business model. I won't expand on this point as much as the other point says, I could not cover it as well as YouTuber Sid Alpha has in his Dirty Devs Escape from Tarkov video, which I'll link in the description. To cover his points very quickly, there are no refunds for this pre-order, the developers don't treat their customers as well as they should given that they are buying their game, and this is both on the official website, forums, and Reddit. And their silencing of YouTubers such as Big Fry after criticism of the game's servers, functions, and as well as anyone who speaks out just banning them, because it's quite literally happening. Now, number 10 is going to be... The last one on this list here for this video is clunky UI, weapon modding, stackable items and auto loadouts and how none of them are done properly I guess. The clunky UI has been talked about on Reddit recently and most agree considering it was upvoted a large amount. Uh, however, not all will agree with it of course. Uh, the people I've asked say it takes far too long for someone sorry, to find something in the traders as there's no search function. It takes far too long to actually get to the trader altogether and is more effort than is necessary worth for the entire process. The inventory is also as clunky as the trading system is. This, is, this combined with the massive learning curve in terms of weapon modding systems makes the inventory system and modding system hard to use, even for early alpha players like me. The fact that there's no auto loadout system or stackable medical items, painkillers, bandages, morphine, etc. <coughs> really brings home this point. To end the video off, I'd like to thank you for watching if you made it this far and by stating that I do love Escape from Tarkov, I do want it to get better and that's the reason I've posted this video and I'm not anywhere ignorant to the, the blight of the players as I am an early alpha player and I've got about 400 hours in game. So I, I know what I'm talking about here. I'm not just coming out of ignorance and posting this. So anyways, yeah, just thanks for, thanks for watching. If you'd like more videos of this sort or more just Escape from Tarkov content, please leave a like or a comment if you disagree with me or whatever. I'd love to read some of the comments. Anyway, peace out, guys. Have a, night, a nice night.